here in Key West, we're blessed to be surrounded by so much beauty day in and day out. Now, Mallory Square, the Waterfront Playhouse, the Oldest House Museum, the Key West Lighthouse, all these places wouldn't be what they are today if it weren't for the Old Island Restoration Foundation. Now, this organization is dedicated to preserving the architectural and cultural heritage of Key West. Kelly, thank you for being on this morning and for talking with us about the Old Island Restoration Foundation. Glad to be here. All right, Kelly, let's start by telling our viewers about the history of this organization. Old Island Restoration Foundation was born out of, unfortunately, a tragedy. The convent was torn down in the, old, in the early 1960s, and it was such an architectural gem, and unfortunately, oh, we needed to start to start saving some of these beautiful old uh, homes and even businesses that were built in the late 1800s and even early 1800s. So we formed a nonprofit organization in 1960, mm -hmm. and today we're the oldest nonprofit here in Key West, and we preserve again the cultural and architectural identity of Key West. We are the largest historic district in the United States per square mile, and we have the largest number of historic buildings in the country. Mm -hmm. It is very unique and it is well worth saving. So mm -hmm. here we are today and we operate the oldest house as a museum and that has given us uh, ability to educate the public through free museum tours and we also do house tours. Uh, familiar with those in December and January, February, March and they're absolutely spectacular. We try to get a fresh new look on the island perspective mm -hmm. and we're very happy that, uh, that we had some visionaries back in the 60s to save Mallory Square mm -hmm. and the waterfront playhouse, the, the warehouse where the playfront, waterfront playhouse is now located. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about your mission today, Kelly. Let's go into it a little bit deeper. So again, we're trying to educate mm -hmm. and the things that we want to promote is the fact that we come from such a great cultural, a great history of the, the architecture, which comes back to where we were culturally in the 1860s. We had a great industry with cigar making mm -hmm. and the Cubans were very uh, had a great foresight to be equal with equality from a gender perspective and a racial perspective uh, religious as well it was an embracing of that diversity that led to these wonderful rich foundations that we call home mm -hmm. so as we continue to talk about the the changes of our island one of the things that comes up is how can we promote history being something in the past, we use it as a, as a guidepost for our future. Mm -hmm. So we actually uh, were beneficial in establishing the Historical Architectural Review Committee, HARC, mm -hmm. as it's mm -hmm. known today in city government. And if it weren't for uh, people taking a moment and saying, hold on, time out, we need to make sure that this is legitimate and mm -hmm. stays within our history and our pattern of our history, then we can move forward. Mm -hmm. so it's a good bad thing but mostly good mm -hmm. now Kelly I know that you've lived here your whole life so we've talked about the historical the historical perspective of Key West but now beyond the historical perspective what would you say makes Key West what it is today oh again uh, it's diversity uh, no matter what religious background what racial background what country you came from black white man woman we are such an embracing community and we celebrate that diversity with the one human family such a wonderful message uh, you know JT was able to give legs to the Cubans idea of una raza mm -hmm. la raza humana which is one one race one human race mm -hmm. so the family is about one human family and this is such a wonderful place to celebrate that diversity and to be from here is just absolutely a blessing. And that's one of the reasons I'm on the board of Old Island Restoration Foundation. Okay, now if the community or anyone wants to get more information about Old Island Restoration, or maybe they even want to be involved in it, can they do that? Absolutely. We have an opportunity to become a member of Old Island Restoration Foundation, which offers a discount on all products uh, at available for sale in our bookstore as well as rentals. We do a great number of weddings and parties and celebrations on our property at Old Island, uh, at the oldest house on Duval Street. And yes, you can learn more information through the website, which is oirf 
www.devolstreet.org, mm -hmm. or you can look us up in the phone book. We're on Duval Street. Okay, you can call the number that you see on the bottom of the screen. Well, thank you, Kelly, for sharing all this information about Old Island Restoration Foundation this morning. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with me.